Now remember I have told you that if this port 80 is already occupied on your Windows operating system by some other service, this Apache server is going to show you some errors. So first of all, how you can check which ports are already occupied on your Windows 11 operating system. So XAMPP control panel comes with this netstat tool. So when you click on this netstat button, it's going to show you the list of all the ports which are occupied on your Windows 11 operating system. So you can see port 80 is occupied right now by uh, my Apache server. But let's say if it's occupied by some other service, it's also going to show you the name of that service, right? Similarly, you can see MySQL is running on port 3306 and you can see all the other ports which uh, are occupied on your Windows 11 operating system with all these services, right? So let's say this port 80 is already occupied. So I want to change this port of Apache server. So for changing this port, you just need to stop your Apache server first of all and then click on config here. So for the configuration, you can choose the first option, which is httpd.conf file. So I'm going to click on the first option, which is going to open this kind of file. So on this httpd.conf file, just scroll down a little until you see this listen keyword, right? So you can see the default port right now is 80. I can change this port to something else. So let's say I want to change this port to port 8080, 8080, right? I can also change this, but it will not uh, change anything because you can see this uh, line is commented, right? So you need to change this port in order to change the port of your Apache server and then just save this file by pressing Control S and then you can close this file. Once that's done, you can once again start your Apache server. So click on the start button. And this time you will see that now the port of Apache is changed to port 8080 in my case, right? So this is how you can change the port. Now, once again, when you go to your browser and type uh, localhost here, this time it's not going to open because now our server is running on the different port, right? So if the port is 80 on your Windows operating system, you don't need to provide any port information on the browser. But if you change the port from port 80 to some other port, in our case, we have changed it to port 8080, I need to add this colon and then add the port number. In my case, it's port 8080 and then press enter and then only it's going to open, right? So you need to write the port number after the local host in order to open this uh, web page if you changed the port here. So the port should be similar, which is visible here on this browser after local host. Similarly, this PHP MyAdmin is also not going to work, right? Why it's not going to work? Because you guessed it right. You need to add colon 8080 after the local host and then press enter and then it's going to work normally, right? So if you change the port here, you need to change the URL also here. 